Okay, I mentioned um, that photochemical smog was a type of secondary pollutant. So here's a slide to di differentiate between primary pollutants and secondary pollutants. Now, you see that the title of this slide is nice, bright red, and bold, and there's a reason for that. Um, I have selected a, um, as you know, five questions from um, these three chapters that will be on your comprehensive final exam. And it's these slides that have red bolded titles that actually the test question comes from these slides. So um, there's a benefit for listening to um, the, the lectures like this. So primary pollutant is one that is put out um, by, well, it could be humans or by Mother Nature. But in and of itself, right away, it is a pollutant. A secondary pollutant needs some sort of chemical reaction to occur before whatever's put out becomes a pollutant. Um, so there you go, secondary pollutants. Volatile organic compounds are examples of secondary pollutants. Um, in and of themselves, they don't, they are not um, pollutants. They're not toxic, you know. And uh, volatile organic compounds generally are associated with burning fossil fuels. Um, so photochemical smog now is a secondary um, pollutant that actually comes from um, uh, VOCs. So VOCs is the, not a pollutant, but photochemical smog is a secondary pollutant that comes from things like VOCs. Uh, photochemical smog needs um, needs the sun in order to get the reaction going. So um, photochemical smog actually is a group of pollutants, secondary pollutants, that include, like the slide says, ozone, um, NO2, uh, PAN, uh, formaldehyde, and others. So it's kind of a set or group of secondary um, uh, pollutants, photochemical smog. So. Um, this is the 1950s, um, East Chicago, Indiana, and on a slide later on, I'm just going to kind of just briefly um, show you the steps that have improved, um, um, have diminished the amount of pollution that we've been putting into the atmosphere. So, particulate pollutants um, are uh, definitely a player, and they can vary in size. In your textbook or in some figures coming up, I think um, they're classified by size and it has a PM and then it has a little subscript number and that little subscript number is telling you the size in, I think, microns or micrometers. So particulate pollutants happen all the time. In Mother Nature puts them out, for instance, with volcano, um, volcanic ash and we put them out as we burn our fossil fuels, um, these particulate pollutants. Now notice that um, this slide talks about the fact that when we do have particulates suspended in the air, one of the things they can do is promote condensation. They can promote water vapor going from being a vapor into being a liquid. So for that reason, that's sometimes how come we get this kind of hazy, foggy sort of situation um, because these, um, we talked about cloud condensation nuclei, CCN, and these are the particulates that get the whole condensation process started. Well, these um, pollutants can actually act as cloud condensation nuclei. And like this slide says, you can get condensation occurring um, at relative humidities that are less than 100%. And it will make the regions, like this, say, this slide says, kind of appear kind of foggy or smoggy. So this is showing you kind of um, some particulate matter sizes. Uh, relatively speaking, we have uh, 90 microns, the size of um, beach sand, and we have 80 microns, the size of the human, um, the diameter of a human hair. And then, just to kind of put things in perspective, when we're talking about pollutants that are um, uh, 2.5 p.m. Um, or less than 2.5 micrometers, relatively speaking, that's how small they are, and 10 micrometers, that's how small they are. So um, we've been talking about anthropogenic, uh, a lot of our anthropogenic pollutants are related to the burning of fossil fuels. And just to kind of show you why that maybe is, 
With regard to electricity in the United States, here's how we get our electricity. Um, almost 49% of our electricity comes from the burning of coal. Let's see, then we have natural gas, you know, fossil fuel, um, 20%. Um, let's see, uh, then we have petroleum, another fossil fuel, 1.6%. So a large percentage of our uh, electricity comes from burning of fossil fuel.